Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Topic of the reading is, are they happy without you? If you are dealing with a situation uh, where you and your person are not together anymore, and you really want to know, are they happy without you? This reading will definitely help you know the answer to that question. Uh, so stay tuned, Capricorns. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may and it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. And you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see are they happy without you let's find out capricorn is this person happy without you let's begin be assertive big happy changes trust i mean the rick would you have if you believe I really feel like, you know, um, I feel like this person is definitely happy without you. I really feel that energy here because um, whoever it is that you're checking this read for, I feel like, you know, this person has been somebody who's very stubborn, somebody who has been like uh, always, um, you know, um, how do I say it? Um, somebody who always cared about themselves, somebody who always like you know did things that they wanted to do always like you know you were a part of their life you were not their whole life maybe they become your life uh but for them you were you were just another person to be honest here and i feel like you know this this person is definitely like you know happy excited about their life right now they're having a lot of good opportunities coming their way in love work home life situation everywhere their life is definitely very happening right now is what i'm picking up um it's it seems like you know they 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 are definitely living their best life right now to be honest and uh, i really don't see that this person is uh right now even thinking about you or missing you even at all now how far this energy can go in the future or how how long can they sustain this happiness that's a different question but if you ask me are they happy without you right now i do see them very happy right now um, they might have gotten married, they might have gotten uh, with another person, they might have, uh, you know, uh, gotten their dream life as in like, you know, their job, work, finances, maybe they are living their best life that way. But yes, I really feel like, you know, this person is somebody who's very stubborn and somebody who is very egoistic, somebody who's uh, so excited about their life right now. So um, let's see some more cards here. Let's see what else do we have about them. What else do we have about them? What else do we have about them? They definitely are very happy. They are definitely very happy. Now, um, for some of you, this, this person uh, could be very happy in regards to the other areas of their life. You know, maybe they don't have another person in their love life right now, but they are too focused on other areas of their life where they are like enjoying their life to the fullest. Maybe they are like, you know, trying to keep themselves busy, happy, fun and light right now. But with this hair, it seems like maybe their love life is not as fun as it seems like. Uh, maybe because they haven't reached out, maybe they haven't like, you know, called you up, maybe they haven't like, you know, uh, tried to talk to you in in recent times uh, but but you know it doesn't mean that they have like you know uh, there is always like you know other things going on in one's life as well like I told you earlier maybe they became your life but they had a life other than you as well so maybe they became so important to you but when it comes to them they have other important things as well like you know they, they never get too occupied with one thing so this person has a lot of dreams a lot of goals and maybe right now they're busy with them they're occupied with them uh but when they look at their love life i i do see some sort of emptiness there um but they are not thinking about it as much as much as you are maybe but i feel like yes they are definitely happy with their life let me see uh let me ask a question have they moved on 
um, have they moved on to a new relationship to another person? Have they moved on to a new person, a new relationship? Have they moved on to a new person, a new relationship? I do have two cards. I hope it's not a yes and no. <laughs> Let's see. Forgiveness. Perfect timing. Um, I feel like, you know, right now, um, they, they, they have forgiven and forgotten about the past as, uh, as, uh, as they are not like thinking uh, much about what has happened in the connection with you. Um, but they are waiting for the perfect timing to align them again with another person. So they are not dating with anyone right now. I feel like they are pretty much like, you know, in that zone where they are open to let the divine bring them someone. So they are not like, you know, too focused on their love life right now. So for majority of you, they haven't moved on. They are trying to heal, trying to better them themselves up right now. And they will wait rather to, you know, um, to come through, you know, to let them, things come through as compared to they putting some effort to make things work with a specific someone or finding a new person. They don't want to do that. Um, but yes, I feel like they haven't moved on, you know, um, as of now. So, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see. What do you need to do in regards to this connection right now? What is it that you need to do right now in regards to this connection? What is it that you need to do in regards to this connection right now? Your oracle guidance for the current situation is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like you know it's very important for you to um, you know if you really want this situation to improve, if you really want this person to come back to you, I would suggest you to re uh, use remote seduction to bring this person back to you. The passion that you put into the manifestation is gonna bring this person back to you. They're gonna think of you. They're gonna miss you. They're gonna come back to you because right now they haven't moved on to another person, so you still have a big chance of ha having them again back in your life. So you can use your passion to to bring this person back to you you can use affirmations to do that as well love yourself force yourself respect makes you more romantically attractive it's very important right now for you to have your time spent with you as of now you know you need to love yourself you need to pamper yourself like i told you earlier maybe you made this person your life maybe you gave them so much of your love but now is the time when you have to love yourself first uh, where you have to pamper yourself first and then use the remote seduction method to make this person come towards you, miss you badly, come towards you to, to offer you love, to give you love, to propose you, to marry you. You have to love yourself first right now um, and never ever do the mistake that you did in the past by putting this person on the pedestal for yourself. You always need to have your own life as, uh, as that is going to make the room for the other person to have their own as well. So the life between the love life stays balanced and positive. You don't heavily depend on the other person. So I feel like you know, right now it's perfect time for you to love yourself, take care of yourself. And that's the way to go about it right now as you wait while we wait for this person to come back to you if that's what you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.